Online traffic fraud is a problem that we really didn't talk about up until about a year ago. It's when activity, whether that's uh, ad impressions, page views, conversions, any of those things that uh, are monetizable that people are trying to make money on, get triggered by uh, non-human actors. The way it affects the publishers is that the publishers may be getting inventory uh, that they don't know is not real. They can purchase it from a third party and get that inventory in, and they've paid money and gotten impressions that are not real impressions into their system. Advertisers are impacted because the advertiser is paying for inventory, and that inventory is not real inventory, so they're putting money out for inventory that's not real. And finally, consumers get impacted because the way many of these bad traffic systems work is they actually will put software, malware, uh, botnet software on consumers' machines unknowingly to the consumer. Their machine becomes part of this process by creating that bad traffic, and that traffic then feeds uh, to the publisher and the advertiser. A great example of online traffic fraud is when a, when a, when a normal user's computer is infected by a virus. Uh, and that virus doesn't make itself apparent to that user, but instead, behind the scenes, when that computer isn't in use, loads up web pages and gets advertising delivered to uh, bad publishers' websites. Another element of online traffic fraud that's important to understand is just how sophisticated some of the entities are that are creating this bad traffic. These are people who have lots of funding, they're generating tens of millions of dollars from this problem, and so this is something that we need to work together as an industry in order to address. We've been working to identify bad traffic for many years now and have had to have a team of over 100 people that is a combination of operational people that hunt down the bad traffic as well as engineers creating technology and tools to be able to identify this bad traffic. So the Traffic of Good Intent Task Force is a meeting place for thought leaders from across the industry at a high level to come together and guide what the industry thinks about uh, and how the industry acts towards non-human traffic. I think one of the major issues that um, we were able to overcome is actually putting up standards and putting up protocol on what you need to do to make sure that you're policing your site um, to avoid um, um, issues revolved um, around traffic of good intent. The standards that we've come up with I think will be uniform across the industry and I think what it will do is provide a comfort to our marketers and to our advertisers that we are maintaining the levels that they would expect and that we expect as publishers. Yes, I have. And where I've seen that change is really about reporting as well as due diligence that you're doing with your partners overall and how you are actually looking at each of your clicks, how you're looking at your page views on a daily basis, just to ensure that they are coming from valid sources and that they are engaged truly on your site overall. Training materials and information about what is bad traffic is available at the IAB.net site. And if you have any questions or need more information, you can reach out to people at IAB.net.